Every day we run into so many different stressors and we feel it, you know, sighing all the time or having the inability to do something because you feel like your energy is running out. All these different types of occurrences happen to us all the time. And in this video, I really wanted to address the five major stressors that we all go through that really make it a lot more difficult to be doing what we want to do and be on the path that we want to be. So let's dive into it today. And if you haven't already, make sure to press the subscribe button so you get notified when videos just like this come out in the future. Let's start with the most obvious one, work. I mean, all of us work, but oftentimes what happens is our work quite literally stresses us out. And it continues to pile on these stressors, you know, whether it's the environment we're in because we're in some industrial building with artificial lights, breathing horrible air around bad people who just don't even want to be there in the first place, or it's the sheer amount of load and work that we're putting on ourselves day after day. These are stressors. These are bad stressors. These are stressors that people have all the time. You know, oh, I just have to work. So we end up wearing clothes we shouldn't or shoes that we shouldn't. We end up standing for longer than we should. There's so many different things that happen over and over and over again. And because we work every day, normally sitting like I am right now for eight hours a day, we're breaking ourselves down, we're stressing ourselves out. So while work is such a major stressor, it is one of the hardest places to cut it out. The easiest way to make it so you're not as stressed working, do what you love, follow your joy, follow your bliss, know your why and go after that. Life, then we have life. These are often the situations that we just can't control, you know, whether it's someone close to you dying or it's just your car breaking down in the middle of the road. Different things happen throughout life that do stress us out. The economy might crash. Maybe the president that got elected wasn't the one that you wanted. And now you see everything through the lens of being disappointed. Yes, this does affect you and it does stress you, but it's always your actual perception of the events that make you stressed or not, right? If you can't control something, then why would you be stressed about what is going on? Because if you can't control it, it's out of your control, it's out of your hands. In another sense, my buddy Eli Wilde likes to say that all events when viewed neutrally can be turned positively. If we do that, if we take all these events, all these things that happen in life, and we've realized that nothing is inherently bad, nothing is inherently good, but everything is as it is, then we can take those stressors, those life stressors, the things that compile and pound on us and really turn and go the positive route. Number three is technology. Yes, I'm gonna jump on that bandwagon. Technology is one of the biggest stressors that we have, and it's everywhere. We talked about work, technology's there. We talked about life, technology's there. And I'm not even just talking about in the sense of technology being there to influence hormones like dopamine and really mess up kids' mental atmospheres because, oh, I didn't get enough likes, or oh, I'm not popular, people don't share my posts, but instead, Technology literally emits EMFs. It has negative ions that it's constantly putting in your body. This is throwing off the balance of ions in your body. If you don't ground, like I put in the video before, if you don't find ways to de-stress, go into nature and really decongest yourself of this static electricity, of these different ions, then what often will happen is quite literally, you'll realize that technology stresses you the hell out. What are you gonna get from it? You're not gonna get validation. Set a purpose for your phone. Don't use your phone that often. Get outside, go ground, get away from technology. It's great, it does make life a lot more efficient, but often we have to realize that it can be a stressor. Just like anything, the person who drank way too much water and ended up dying, too much of anything is a stressor. Technology is everywhere. It's like an extra appendage that follows us around. We put it on the table next to us. We keep it in our pockets. Taking some time off is something that is super beneficial. Number four, we have food. What does your diet look like right now? We often neglect the fact that micronutrient deficiencies, different autoimmune disorders, and the fact that most of us have allergies to foods that we don't know have an impact on our stress. If we don't have the right amount of nutrients, we're missing magnesium, we don't have enough sodium, then what happens is our body stresses out because it has to figure out and pull from other sources those nutrients so that it can use it in their physiological processes. See, we see this a lot with calcium. If people aren't ingesting calcium, and we often think we have too much calcium, the fact of the matter is we need more calcium. The reason being, when we don't have it, our body needs to utilize it because it is such a crucial element 
in our ability to create ATP, in our ability to have energy, then what quite literally happens is we pull it from our bones. We create osteoporosis, and that can happen from taking too much vitamin D or just not having enough calcium when you're doing these weight-bearing activities all the time. So with food, figure out your diet. Fill those nutrient holes. You're gonna have to take a blood test, of course, because you gotta figure out both what you're allergic to and what you're lacking. But once you do that, then you can correct and make sure that you don't have this physiological stressor that's actually internal and not external. And last but not least, we have our environment. See, right now I'm a little congested, and the reason is allergies. Dust, pollutants, all this different stuff. If you live in a city, you're getting noise pollution, you're getting brake dust, and you're getting so much of this inhalants that you probably shouldn't be getting day in and day out. The fact of the matter is our environment can be so stressful for us. That's why it's crucial to literally make your home a dojo. Your body is a temple, make the temple by in a dojo. You need to have de-stressing activities. You need to make sure that your bedroom is meant to de-stress you and not filled with electronics that make you quite literally just get more stressed out. Doing these certain things that I try to do and I know it can be hard to do, make it so you can finally de-stress, you can get away from the environment, from life, from all these different stressors that are constantly you know, berating you and breaking you down. And instead what you can do is you can see them objectively, you can see them as a neutral event, and you can make sure to always take the positive route. De-stress anytime that you want to and get out of your mind. So that's it for this video, the five main stressors that we all deal with and we all have to deal with, but we can always take them and make them something a lot more because what doesn't break us builds us up. I wanna thank you for watching this video. If it helped you in any way, make sure to press the like button. Otherwise, make sure to press subscribe, and I'll see you in a video shortly.